Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Hogwarts Legacy. Now, I've been a casual fan of Harry Potter for many, many years now. Um, I've actually never read any of the books, but I've seen all the movies, many of them on opening night when they first came out. I've enjoyed quite a few of them. And I also visited the Wizarding World at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure in Orlando, which I highly recommend because the atmosphere is incredible. But the Harry Potter Wizarding World, I've always kind of kept at arm's length because I liked the, the mysterious vibe around it. Um, I didn't want to learn how the magic worked or anything. I didn't absorb it like I did other franchises like Star Wars. Because much like a magician who has a famous trick, once you learn it, the magic's kind of gone. So I always wanted the, the Harry Potter world to keep its mystique. But once I saw that this game was coming out, an open world RPG set a hundred years before the events of the books, I was like, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to play this. Um, I think we're going to have a really cool adventure here, guys. But before we do, um, I want to go ahead and address the elephant in the room, or the troll in the dungeon, I guess would be a more accurate term. J.K. Rowling's views on transgender people sucks. To me, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I hate the fact that this game um, has kind of become a line in the sand for people. But I know that a lot of you have wanted to watch me play it, and so I went ahead and got the game. But I also matched the cost of the game, and the game was not cheap. Um, games are getting more and more expensive all the time. But I matched the cost here to a charity called Keshmet UK which I hope I'm pronouncing right, I'm probably not. But it's a charity in the United Kingdom that helps out Jewish LBGP, or LGBT plus um, and their families. And I don't think JK is particularly fond of that charity, so I hope that kind of balances the scales a bit. But I hope you all can understand. Um, if not, no worries, I understand. We'll see you in the next series, if at all. Um, for everyone else, let's go ahead and get going. Now, we're going to go ahead and start with a new character. I did play a little bit of the game just to get the uh, settings and everything the way I wanted to. The character creator here is actually pretty good. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the State of Term Feast and the Sorting Ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Now, this is kind of cool because I didn't know that the Weasleys had, like, I guess, previous generations had been, like, high-ranking in the Wizarding World. So, I'm going to try and remember the character that I built when I was playing around. There he is. Okay. So, let's go... I think we went with a fuller face here. I'm going to try and uh, create myself as much as I can. We're not going to go with the John Lennon slash Harry Potter glasses. But I think we can go with these. I think I've rocked out glasses like this at one point in my life because I am incredibly nearsighted. Skin color is good. And the hair, the hair option I actually really liked because it doesn't matter your gender. You can wear anything like that for example but um i was originally going to go with this kind of the center parted wavy hair because that's what i have but i also found this which is like the front tied back which is very similar to the hairstyle i used to wear when i did larp so i think this will work for us we'll go ahead and call that good complexion um, paler the better. There we go. And in terms of freckles and moles, I do not have freckles. I do have a few. Let's 
Oh, actually, that's almost perfect, because I've got one on the side of my cheek. That works for me. Now we've got scars and markings. And this was fairly interesting, because we have like the typical RPG character, like battle scars against some kind of beast. But we also have stuff like that. Which looks like someone just decided to take a wand and like scribble over this poor kid's face. Or in this case, like a cigar burn. Just no bueno. But out of all of these, I think the one that I like the most was this eyebrow scar. So it's not Harry Potter-ish. You know, it's not like the forehead scar, but I think that tells a story. Maybe we'll find out what that story is. Um, eye color. Let's go ahead and see if we can find Hazel. That's kind of what I have. That's way too green. Oh, there it was. I've got that green with that kind of yellow around. Eyebrow color is good, and we need to find some attack eyebrows. I've got so I've got a set of Peter Capaldi's. Um. Oh, there they are. Okay, I think that'll work. Just look naturally angry. That was quite something. I am Turn. indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Oh, I like that. Um, we'll go normal for the difficulty. And in terms of the last, I don't know what the first name is going to be right off the top of my head. I know what the last name is going to be, though. Because when I saw this at um, the Harry Potter world, I was just like, well, I have my name in this world. And it was at Diagon Alley, and there was a sign for, like, a potion and poison shop. And I know some of you probably already know what I'm talking about. There we are. Shiver Wretch. It just fits like a glove. But what should we have for the first name? Um, hmm. I'll tell you what, let's do... How about Daniel? I don't want to have a name like Peter Parker or anything like that. I think uh, uh, Daniel Shiverwretch. Sounds good to me. And Witcher Wizard determines your player's character's dormitory. <laughs> Hogwarts is not co-ed. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and start the journey. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time again. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Now, Ages since oh. I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. So when he appeared is when I turned off the game. So I'm in unknown territory here. And he seems scared of something.
Guess we're not taking the train. Ooh, it's opening credits time. By the way, guys, if I need to change any of the sound settings, just let me know, okay? Suck it, Shinra. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? It's my Warcraft I character. Have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly, to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Are we going to summon Pinhead on our first day? Merlin's beard. H how did you... Wait! We do... Oh, God. Oh, the owl survived. Okay. He got House of the Dragon. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that gave me goosebumps. Squirrel. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Down to heal. We're getting to mechanics now. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... 
Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. The motion capture is incredible from what I've seen so far. Um, can we look? We dropped straight down, didn't we? Oh. How far did that port key take us? The Skyrim. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she... And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. What could possibly go wrong? Woo! We've got pots. Mind your step. Can we break them like Legend of Zelda? Yeah! Hold on, I'm pressing buttons. Oh, alright, we got a roll. Trigger. I've got a wand in my hand now. Wait. Trigger. Well, I can do calisthenics. Good job, Daniel. Guess we'll learn that when the time's right. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. He's sprightly. Yeah, but Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Oh, I don't know if we can fall off cliffs. Probably let's not let's not test that. But sir why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Ooh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Tap R2 to perform a basic cast. Excellent. Cool. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling uh, camera relative targeting in settings. Oh, okay. Now we can link it up. <laughs> you don't know what you've unleashed on the Potter world. Whoops. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. 
Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I hope none of these are needed or expensive. Ah! Up there! I was wondering if we could cast on a seagull. Okay, he's going that way, but I want to see what's over here. Just, oh, hello there. 32 gold? I don't know the name of currency in the Harry Potter world. I'll say pounds. 32 pounds. We're close now. It's just ahead. Florins, rupees. That looks awesome. Steady yourself. Reparo. Engineers in shambles. The real mystery is how Daniel's hair does not f fly in the wind. Well, I see some carvings. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems... Out of place. Oh, that's the cup of a carpenter. The minimap shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold to talk with quest objective details. Okay. <laughs> Investigate. Professor. This statue? This may have been his home! It's like a young Saruman with the, um, scene stone. Anything over here? <laughs> Is there more to break? Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. I like that gold etching. So he's got the plantier. He's got tarot cards. He's got a bird outside. Studying the stars. But a big old chunk of this is missing. Speaking of birds, like, hopefully we'll find our owl before we get to Hogwarts. We're kind of on a field trip. Now, where are we going? Ah, here we go. Oh, we're getting away from the professor, too. This is where we probably get involved into things we shouldn't be. Well, he's not looking. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? It's blocking plot, Daniel. Let's go see the What's plot. This? Professor Fig! That's cool. 
How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Wake the goblin. Godric's heart. Where are we? Oh, it teleported I don't us. It. Wait, are we in Gringotts? I think it teleported us to Gringotts. Oh, is there anything we can steal while he's asleep? <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> Ring the bell for service. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> no way over here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Hey. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. Wow, they are built just this like... This way, then. ...the goblins from World of Warcraft, only fleshy. Stay close. <whistles> oh. After you. I didn't get to ride any of the rides when I went to uh, the Wizarding World, but I know that this one, the one that you had to go into Gringotts for, was like the most popular. Inside the cards, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Welcome to the Black Mesa Research Facility. How many volts are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Going down, down to Goblin Town. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Is that Barney? Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. I like those red eyes. on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. So I wonder if Daniel can see, like, anyone under the influence of the big bad. 
here we are. Like an ens enslavement device. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. All right, guys. Well, I think this is a good place to go ahead and call it the first episode. Um, this is awesome so far. I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are, too. If you all like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone.